This is the clock case, put together complete without the glass. The hinge is fitted, but the door's not fitted to it just yet. It's going for glazing probably early next week. It's uh, 49 inches tall, 14 inch across. You see the top's not actually finished yet. That's to be cut down to make sure the wall. That's where the top finials go. Um, this is a new door and sides. The old one, uh, they were too bulky. So I've just lifted the door off, which I'm about to do. So you can see the hinge. Uh, the hinge is 48 inches long. It's a piano hinge. And uh, it took me a week to make. It's uh, not fastened down fully yet or finished polishing. I'll finish that probably over the next few weeks once I get the uh, glazing sorted out. I know it's not very good at this distance, I'm a bit too close. But uh, there's the case with its piano hinge partly open. I've got to machine an eighth of an inch off the back of the door tomorrow to fit because the, the, the hinge is a quarter of an inch thick. So half of that, an eighth of an inch to come off one door edge to fasten the hinge to. Um, just in this gap here is a four inch by 48 inch piece of glass. I spoke to the glazy today, he's going to do it for me. Um, I don't want to do it. Um, I'll probably break it and he'll be an expert at it. Um, these sides yet aren't fully fastened. You can see them moving slightly. They're all drilled for bolting up. <coughs> all they need is fastening. It's not a big job to do that. Um, all the screws are brass because they're drilling into, into oak. If you look in here, you see the screws. Um, bit of a marking out. That's the bottom unit. This edge here We'll have a taper on it that will fit into a tapered slot on the wall so the weight of the clock will actually pull it down into the taper and tie it to the wall. And then at the other end um, I shall be um, trimming this edge off. As you can see at the moment it's not actually square and I shall be putting two holes in somewhere about there and there. And when the other end is sat in its slot I'll mark it through those two holes and put two, row, two half inch row bolts into the wall to hold it. The whole thing weighs probably about 50 or 60 pounds with all the pendulum and weights. Um, so it needs a fair uh, attachment to the wall to hold it. Um, the hinge itself weighs four pounds because it's solid brass. I did try to buy one from a piano hinge manufacturer we were talking £200 for a hinge like that and I think this actual hinge cost me probably £20 to make. As a close up you can see that it's made of um, eight, one, uh, 8 inch hollow tube, brass tube um, and uh, it's brazed but it's silver soldered on the back side. Every other hinge uh, there's one, where are we? There's one there, 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 on different halves. So it allows one e each half to, um, to, to open and close. It's a bit stiff. So I'm opening it there. It is a bit stiff, but it works just fine. When the door's on it, the stiffness you won't even notice. That's it. All ready for glazing. Sometime probably next week there is a look.